The Greater Gauteng area is undoubtedly the powerhouse of the South African economy. A number of metropolitan areas in the Gauteng area have a significant role to play in our country. Germiston on the East Rand, which houses the seat of the Kululeni municipality, is a well-established mixed industrial and residential area of significant importance. Boasting South Africa's largest railway junction, as well as the busiest civilian airport, Rand Airport, this area is certainly well connected. And the Greater Germiston area houses well over 700 factories, a mixture of light and heavy industrial infrastructure. The area also houses a number of large shopping malls, entertainment facilities, sporting facilities and has historical significance. Our subject property is a large multi-function showroom, warehouse and office complex situated at number 10 President Street in Germiston. The property has four tenants, the primary anchor tenant being consolidated auctioneers who occupy 80% of the space, while the others sublet space from the primary tenant. The current situation with the tenant's lease, which will run for a further year after the sale has been concluded, but this could be negotiable. The property comprises of the following. Portion 1 of Earth 1174 is 692 square meters in extent. Earth 1178 is 1 1.6 hectares in extent, both in the township of Germiston Extension 6. The site improvements of the warehouse, showrooms and offices comprise of a GLA of 7,700 square meters and a gross building area of 8,200 square meters. The zoning is listed as Business 1. The showrooms are constructed with a reinforced portal frame with part face brick and part plaster. Also painted brickwork under a sawtooth IBR roof with clear sheeting for natural light. The internal flooring comprises of ceramic tiling and interlocking brick. There are some areas where suspended ceilings are in place and others where the roof is exposed with insulation. Lighting is a combination of suspended and recessed fluorescent. The door and window fixtures are all modern aluminium with laminated safety glass. The offices are a combination of open plan and individual offices of varying sizes. There are a number of entertainment spaces in the main building which are joined by a bridge with table and chair type seating. The main warehouse is constructed with reinforced portal frames with plaster and painted brickwork to sill height and IBR cladding under a pitched and part insulated IBR roof with steel window and door frames. The floor is reinforced concrete. Access to the space is via several roller shutter doors. This space would be ideal as a light industrial manufacturing environment with adjoining workshops and storage spaces. There is a small office next to the one entrance. The second warehouse is a smaller space, constructed in a similar way to the main warehouse. This area is currently used as a storage area and contains high density rack structures and has a small office section running alongside the space. There is also a factory facility which contains heavy duty metal bending equipment which is the property of the tenant. Towards the rear of the property, there is a workshop area comprising a drive-in facility where one of the sub lessors does technical work on larger vehicles. Much of the yard area is used as storage and this would be ideal for any business which needs large open plan storage areas for either vehicles and all weather goods.
There are also smaller workshop areas which look out onto the rear yard area. The rear yard also houses containers which have been converted as storage units. There is a large covered storage area to the front of the property which is used to store vehicles which are being auctioned off. There are also a number of smaller facilities on this property. The parking areas in front of the offices are considerable and access is via a security controlled gate. This property is situated at the edge of the commercial center of Germiston. Further information can be obtained from the downloadable investor pack on this website. This property will be auctioned off on the 19th of May at Summer Place Hyde Park at 12 o'clock noon.